Hello and welcome to the AutoNet Tools online video tutorials. My name is Michael Shrum, Trainer and Territory Manager of the Feldman Automotive Group. The next lesson we're going to go over here is how to pull a no photo report and how to upload your photos. Uh, the first dealership we're going to go through here is Marty Chevrolet. So um, just kind of starting from the basic or starting from the beginning here, we have uh, vauto.com, which is the website that we utilize within all of the Feldman Group. Inside that we have the client login. This is going to fast track me directly in because I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to go ahead and log out and show you this process. We see here we're prompted with a username and a password. The username and password should be given to you uh, within your training manual, so you'll have that along with um, your printed step-by-step -step guide. So we're going to enter in those and go ahead and sign in. Once you sign in, underneath Jennifer Patton in the lower right hand corner, you'll likely end up seeing something like this. It says Feldman Automotive Group. This is basically the entire uh, group as a whole. So we want to basically just uh, trim this down a bit. So we're just going to click on that, scroll all the way to the bottom here. We have Marty Feldman Chevrolet. Um, you also have Feldman Kia, which is the store just across from it. If you service any of the Kia new, then that's what you're going to want to be going under. But for this one, we're just going to stay with Marty Feldman Chevrolet. Click on that, let it refresh. Once this refreshes, we're going to hover our mouse over pricing. Don't click. And go ahead and click on View Inventory. And again, this will refresh. And now it's nothing but um, filter refinement. So we go ahead and click on the Filters tab. We're going to want to switch this from Used to New. And then under the Merchandising tab, I want to click on Without Merchandising Photos. Um, some dealerships actually do input one or two default photos in there, such as maybe it says uh, Picture Coming Soon. So make sure you um, check with the dealership first to make sure that they're not doing that, because you might be missing out on some vehicles. But um, we scroll all the way to the bottom here. We see that there's a total of 271 vehicles that need photos. And it uh, looks like a good chunk of them are, are over a week. So um, that's pretty much it. From this point, all we can do is uh, sort. And we're going to do that by make and model. And then by stock number, click Save. And what this is basically doing is lumping all my cruises with my cruises and um, my cruise diesels, my cruise eco ecos, LS, uh, equinoxes, and so on. So then that way I'm not um, basically scanning through 271 different stock numbers trying to look for the right vehicle. I can go in front of a cruise and I know it's a cruise and I can link it up here a lot quicker. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the click here to generate an Excel report. This is going to take a second just to download it, and it'll open right up. And there we have it. This is exactly what we wanted, but um, in the format of a spreadsheet. So we see we have all of our vehicles here. It's all nice and neat and organized. And uh, pretty much this is what you're going to want to have everything every day first thing in the morning. The next step we're going to want to do here is um, just the uploading process. So the uploading process is pretty similar to um, getting the inventory list. Instead of going to pricing, we're going to go one over to merchandising, photo management. I'm going to click on that. And then again, we have the um, retail and used, which are the default filters. We're going to go ahead and just click on used to remove the filter. And then within the quick search tab, we can type in any uh, specific vehicle that we're looking for. So for example, I'll say uh, M14C 1910, which is a 2014 cruise that we saw on that first list. Um, if I click on that, then that should match up with the stock number of the vehicle that I shot on the lot. Uh, within here, I'm just going to go over to marketing photos, add images. And I'm basically just going to go ahead and look for that specific vehicle within um, my folders. So obviously I didn't go to Marty Chevy today, but if I did, um, you know, I'd see M14C 1910 somewhere here. I'd go ahead and just upload that by selecting the checkbox to the left of the stock number, scroll all the way to the bottom, deselect my stock number photo and my VIN, and then click upload. And then from that point, it's as simple as uh, dragging and dropping over here. Once that's done, you can click Save and Close, and then go ahead and type in the next stock number. And that is how you do it. If
if you have any questions, please contact your local territory manager, and um, they should be able to address anything that you may be having trouble with.